Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 live cast. For this one we're playing a TVP. My muke is not mited. My muke is not mited. Not enough minerals. My mic is not muted. And so that's a good thing. <laughs> of course, it might have been better if it was muted, not given what minerals. I just said. Not enough minerals. Alright, so I'm just going to take the watchtower right at the start. So I don't inter I don't uh, hit his scouting probe. Because if he sees me crossing the map early, or when I go to make my PF, it can be, be kind of bad for me. Okay, let's go make that command center. Then we'll go fake our expansion. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Our SCVs are under attack. Not enough again. minerals. And then we give up. Not enough minerals. Oh damn. Ooh, that just cost me some gas. And some minerals, both of which are kind of bottlenecks. Insufficient Vespine gas. Okay, not sure what we're up against, but Not enough base is under attack. Not 
Research complete. Insufficient Vespine gas. Insufficient Vespine gas. Not enough energy. Command center upgrade complete. Fact, that's just I can't build here. Not enough energy. Additional supply depots required. Not enough minerals. is under attack. Alright, I guess we should be transitioning now. It's so hard to believe he doesn't have anything. Or he doesn't have an expansion. I can't believe how terrible that went. And we just lost our expansion. Alright, good thing I started transitioning. I just kept moving with those lock-ons. 
That was so bad. Okay. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. Center upgrade. Center upgrade complete. Add-on complete. Insufficient Vespine gas. Insufficient Vespine gas. Yeah, I can bait him. Mineral field completed. Mineral insufficient Vespine gas. Mineral field depleted. Insufficient Vespine gas. Mineral field depleted. Oh, those are important.
Mineral field depleted. Mineral field, Vespian Geyser existed. Your forces are under attack. Mineral field depleted. This path requires passage. Let me go hit this one. Welcome to the wood mines again. Your forces are under attack. <laughs> it's a good path to take. I'm surprised he didn't go for the counterattack when he killed all my cyclones and broke out. I guess he probably lost a lot of his own army in the process. It saddens me that I didn't see this come up. I probably should have put just like a missile turret there or something. Maybe a turret like right here. Keeps an eye on this expansion. And him trying to cross the map. These may even recharge in time. Yeah, that pretty much shut him down. He must have been uh, pretty far behind, too. Because I had four bases to his three. So as bad as I thought that start went. I mean, I, I didn't think it went bad. I just think I kind of botched it and let him back into the game heavily. Um, maybe I didn't let him back into the game that much. I think it's 7.30. And I just finished scouting over there. Oh, wait. Now he's going to arrive over there at some point. So he actually scouted it for me <laughs> by doing that. So he did a warp in of like zealots or something, plus these two immortals, and I got 10 cyclones and a scantipede. Should have been enough to hold, especially with a scantipede. So I guess I'm locking on this, onto probes a lot. A couple times I thought I locked onto his uh, or prism. There, finally. Jeez. The one that locks on is always the one that dies. Wow. 
breaks out with the void rays. Do you take any damage here? Some zealots. All damage on a couple of ground units. And now he's out. Army sizes are 4,000 to 250. I do have a planetary and missile turrets and one cyclone. So it's not like I'm 100% dead, but I'm pretty close. And he immediately warps back. See, this is the strange part, right? Because I guess in his head, he knocked me back to two bases again. He's on two bases. So that should be good for him. But he saw me retaking this, and he's retaking that. So to him, I guess it looks pretty even. I'm just starting my third. He's just starting his third. One thing I do have going for me is a worker count. He did not go Alpha Star by constantly making probes, even though he hadn't, couldn't expand. So now he's fallen behind a worker count. I was also working off of multiple command centers for a while. I was even producing workers from my forward planetary. You see the income discrepancy right now, pulling in double his gas count. Not doing amazing spending through the minerals, but I am making five widowmans at a time, which isn't terrible. So they build pretty quickly. Kind of storm himself there. And that will be it. I think he just transferred from his main. Yes, yeah, so he's got three workers in his main and another. 16 in total. So he's going to have one base saturation at the end of this. He will still have three next eye, so he can chrono boost, but it's not like my aggression will let up. He just lost his army on his probes, and I still have an army. So I guess this is the tough part. It gets to the point where I can kind of have too many cyclones. They stop working well together. So maybe I shouldn't even make a third tech lab factory. Even though I can get the gas to spend through three tech labs worth of, of cyclones with uh, my four gas geysers. Sorry, three factories worth of cyclones. I don't think I want to ever be triple producing cyclones. They're a good cutting unit. They're fantastic the smaller the army sizes are, but once he starts getting a significant size army, when cyclones move in to lock on, they just instantly die. Whereas if it's like one-on-one, -on -one, I can lock on and run away and, and you know, I take one shot of damage and that's it. Well, I get the free kill. 
but five on five, I start losing units as soon as I lock on. And then that's 20 on 20 or whatever the numbers happen to be. Things get a lot worse there. Um, so assuming I go double factory cyclone and then take my expansion. Once the expansion kicks in, I'm going to have money to spare. And then I can start doing other things. I can start my transition by starting Widow Mines. Widow Mines aren't a terrible idea. They work pretty well with Cyclones as it gives you, you know, if I have like four Widow Mines here, then I can lock onto him and then retreat over the Widow Mines. And then if he wants to chase me down, he's got to eat Widow Mine shots. Um, I guess Siege Tank maybe. Maybe Siege Tank here would be nice. I can start my Starport. Don't think taking a third is a good idea. If I got him locked on one base. Maybe just try to shore up my home defense would be best. So I got the turret ring going. And maybe siege tanks. Of course, I'm going to go to siege tanks to complement my cyclones, and I do need a third tech lab. I guess that's the way to do it. Once I get to like six cyclones, I don't think I'd ever want more. So start making siege tanks at that point. So I guess we do go triple factory tech lab. I can always use the tech labs later when I transition to Raven. Get my six cyclones. And and they're pretty good at, at dealing with harass in my base or you know punishing him a little bit as he breaks out. as I fall back and then all the money goes into defense planetary turret ring and siege tanks covering somewhat the planetary and somewhat the blink in position so in this case tanks like here I guess would be best Normally the game is more chaotic than this, and I don't get up. I don't. This decision doesn't come up. Either he's trying to kill me, or he's trying to break out, and and he's constantly using units, and I'm constantly using cyclones, and the army counts are staying low. But he does. If he does just decide to like sit back and build up and play a bit with the shield battery energy by poking. Um, then yeah, I, I got to think of the transition. And for the transition, I don't need a third. I don't need Ravens. I just need to make sure that if he breaks out, he's not going to be able to punish my two base build going on here. So I just need to shore up my defenses on these two bases. Yeah, so turrets and siege tanks, I think is the way to go after that. Okay. Anyways, with that, we'll call it the end of this video. Thank you everyone for tuning in and I'm out of here. Goodbye.